Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Wheel of Misfortune. Episode 6 in fact, and uh, it's dark. And the reason I am stating episode 6 is because episode 5, oh episode 5, that was, uh, was quite an interesting one wasn't it? Yeah, we failed here. Now off camera, you know, I gave my items back. A few of you did say in the comments, you know, no Yoshi, I'd much prefer it if you could go and get your items. And trust me, Honestly, so would I, but I can't because they fell off the edge, and without the items, like this lava bucket and this ice box, box? Block, even. Uh, <laughs> why did they call it a box? Without those two items especially, this map would pretty much be impossible to complete, and uh, the series would go nowhere, so yeah, I kind of spawned them in. Anyway, and then I did go and collect all the dirt for this, and this, guys, as you could see me start building at the end of last episode before Mr. Creeper, um, this is my cobblestone generator. Now, if you have an idea how it works, I could probably do it, before a lot of you say this, in a lot less space, and I am aware of that. But I only have one chance, really, at placing these down, so I thought I would play it safe. I hardly make cobblestone generators either, so... It's kind of a blank area, or like a blank spot of knowledge in Minecraft for me. So, I'm going to place the lava here, and that will trickle down there. And this block here is where the cobblestone should generate. Then I place the ice all the way over here, break it, the water flows down, and when the two clash, a cobblestone uh, block will be there. And then I land in the water, I pick it up, and then when I get out the water, it will hit again, and cobblestone will be there! It should be a good time. So that is what I'm going to do now. Um, I was actually going to do it when it goes light, but you know what? Screw it! I'm going to be a rebel today. And by rebel, I just mean a bit, a bit more daring. So let me place that there, and place that there. Oh, light, how I miss you. That is there. So now... If I break the ice block, water should come flowing out like that. And see, that's the clash point. So, with a bit of luck, we're going to dig out this dirt block here, guys. And it should be cobblestone. And if it's not, then I don't know really what I'm going to do. But we'll, we'll cross that milestone if and when we get to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, well, yeah, there we go. There was a bit of a delay, but... Goal completed! Cobblestone generator. Oh yeah, of course. Cobblestone generator! Woo! Um, I totally forgot this was a winter biome. I also totally forgot that was a voice crack. Um, that means the ice is going to freeze a lot, which doesn't really affect us, honestly, because we can just, um, you know, keep digging it out. It's not like it's going to evaporate. But, uh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Okay, so I guess... Dig this again. I should probably stop doing that with my sword as well. That's probably not the best use. Now, let's test the uh, effect. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, we can keep on doing it. And the cobblestone will be there. And I am now glitched in the side. I don't know if I'm glitched in the cobblestone or not. Oh, no, looks like I was. Okay, well, this is a good time. Things are actually going okay on Wheel of Misfortune. What the hell is going on today, guys? Uh, oh yeah, okay, well that's just one thing, I guess, you know, sometimes it will go into the lava. Ugh. Screw it, I'm gonna do that. Just, like, stand on top of it. I think that's the best technique. Um, I can't remember how I did it on, uh, Sky Survival. I think it was this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I now have the, uh, ever-arduous task of collecting a low oh god, here we go. Of co Oh my god, it's a villager zombie! Yes, I love you! I was just checking behind. I love you, you're so cool! I was going to say, you can't interact with them when they're zombies, I you? No, you can't. Uh, so now I have the very long task of collecting a Chrysapple load of stone. Why am I saying Chrysapple? What is up with that? Uh, a crap load of stone, so that, guys, we can have safety when making new tools and stuff like that. But, before I cut and, you know, do a bit of that off-screen and then come back, um, a lot of you guys told me in the comments, and I am ever grateful for this. Apparently, there are two types of eggs that have spawned, uh, well not spawned, that have been placed in the chests in the centre of the iron and the centre of the diamond. I think it's diamond, yeah, it's diamond that way, iron that way. Doesn't even matter, I'm just illustrating, guys. God, you're so picky. So, um, I think in the iron, there are two eggs of pigs, maybe? And I think that means in the other one, there are two eggs of sheep, which is fantastic, because then that means we can make our bed. Now, before I go ahead and go and get those, because I could go and get those now and spawn the sheep in my house and, you know, get my wool, I actually want to make some iron shears, 
uh, want iron shears? I want to make some shears. If there are diamond shears, please let me know. Uh, I want to make some shears because then obviously we can get more wool from the sheep and there's less risk of us losing the sheep and then being completely stuck and waiting for them to spawn in the wheels. So, we may be another day without a bed. Eh. Sorry, I know, it's getting really annoying. We are on episode 6, and we don't even have a bed. That is... Eh, pathetic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, th I would feel much better going and getting me some shears and doing all of that kind of thing. So, that's the other thing, after we've got some more cobblestone, that I would like to try and do today. To finish off making my bridge over to the iron, get a bunch of that, and then come back here, craft some shears, so we will be set for next episode to get ourselves some... Oh my god, I thought that was a sheep! I thought that was a sheep! Where, where is my sword? There we go. Oh, I thought you were a sheep. I was like, no way, that's real. Nope, it's a skeleton. So we will be set for next episode. God damn it, you just had to ruin the moment. I hate skeletons. Okay, so I've just finished getting uh, a full stack of 64 of cobblestone, which is beautiful. And uh, I come and, you know, look. And there are actually no monsters out for once in the daytime, which is... A beautiful thing. It ah, uh, it feels so nice to see this. So I'm gonna take the opportunity while I can and definitely try and go and build. Uh, well, finish off building the rest of this bridge. How did I get up there last time? I can't remember. Uh, was it up like via this tree? I feel like it was. Or I feel like it wasn't. But that's another way of getting there. Yeah. Okay. How did I make this? I don't remember that at all. Uh, let me just build a little stairway up to it then. In that case. Oh, so, just, I want to address this just really quick. If you're wondering, I don't know, I'm kind of talking not slower, but a little quieter, which actually isn't having any effect on it anyway. You know when you're chewing a lovely piece of gum, and, you know, you're you're not running, but you're jogging around, and you're you're being active, having a good time, and then you take, you, you go down like, oh, okay, all right, that's a, Jesus Christ. And then you go down a step or something like this. A bit like what I'm doing now, actually. And, oh god, I've got to stop doing that. I am crouched. Um, and you bite so freaking hard into the side of your tongue. And then for a few days afterwards, it, like, grates along your teeth as you move or drink or speak or do whatever. Uh, yeah, I've got that really, really bad right now. <laughs> really bad. I cannot express to you how much pain I'm in. So whenever I talk, and apparently whenever I record, and record anything, for the next few days, I'm going to be in a lot of goddamn pain, which is fun. So I'm just, you know, warning you, putting that out there, that uh, that is what's going on. Because I don't know if I sound any different with it, but I feel like I'm talking a bit differently. I, d I don't know. Anyway, here is the oh-so-beautiful, bountiful chest. Oh, yeah, look at that shit. Oh, this See, there you go. So, yeah, this is the one with pigs in, which means that uh, the one over there has got the two sheep eggs in. I will take everything in here so far, though. Um, I think there's some tree goals as well, so we'll need to save those. And, of course, sugar cane. Um, take the chest with me as well. Might as well take the opportunity. Uh, fantastic. Okay, so... I'm not going to take all of this iron, I don't think there's any point just yet. Plus, I've probably wasted all like I do with money. Um, so, I will leave quite a bit of that there. Um, we'll pick up all of this cobblestone and then we can just make this pathway up again, if we need to a bit later on. Because again, it's not like we are going to have any trouble getting cobblestone now. It just takes a little bit of time. Although, I actually found, guys, I don't think I showed it to you, but I found a different way of collecting the cobblestone. Uh, a much more sensible way, I don't know why I'd ever done it. If you dig a block off to the side of the lava and the water, basically a block from the side of the stone where it spawns, you don't have to worry about jumping up and down and avoiding the lava. As long as you keep digging there, it will just always go in your inventory like 99% of the time. In fact, I think I can just show you really quickly. Uh, let me just give you a really... Oh, taking damage like a boss. Let me just give you a really quick demo. So You see, I've got this block here. As long as I stand here, I can just dig it, stand there, not worry about the lava coming in and constantly get more cobblestone. So, it's a good time. Can you dig it? Oh, ho, ho, that was a really bad pun, and I am so, 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 so sorry. Uh, right, I need to get some... Do I have any logs? I might have some logs in my uh, chest. Let me just get some anyway, just in case. But I'm going to need those, because we need to put those in the furnace, so we can cook up this iron and make ourselves some shears. Oh, yeah, we're progressing along. God damn it, I forgot... Oh, no, it's okay. I had a panic moment. I was just like, no, no, I, I, 
I don't have a furnace, and I was so used to not being far in Wheel of Misfortune that, uh, <laughs> that I didn't realise I could make one. Yes, I can actually do this. Okay, we are one step away now, now that we've got a furnace from... Is, is a furnace doing a goal? I can't remember. If it is a goal, then yay, we got a goal. If it isn't, then I just won't add the graphic in. I can't. I can't remember. I usually play with the uh, the list up on my other screen. No, I'm not doing that today for some reason. Apparently I'm not playing too correctly. Um, so let's put that in there. And that should work. And there we go, guys. We are making ourselves some iron ore, which we're going to make into shears. We can finish off the episode, and then next time, we will go and get ourselves, ultimately, some beds. Which, as I was saying earlier, with the furnace, is the last step to completing the goal for making a house. Because I wanted all those four items in there. Technically, we could have got that goal at the start. Uh, I just kind of added in the, I want a chest, furnace, working bench, and, um, you know, bed in there. Just as my own kind of little accomplishment. Uh, anyway, I'll leave the rest of that going. I won't think that will last too long. Anyway, but I'll leave that going because all we need is two iron, as I'm sure you guys know. And there we go! We have got ourselves some shears. I'm goddamn hungry. We have got ourselves some shears. There we go, guys. We have actually made some good progress today. I'm really happy with this. We made a cobblestone generator. We uh, we went and used that cobblestone and got up to the first chest goal area thing. And we made ourselves some shears, as well as getting some general iron. It's been a very good day. I think you can probably tell. So as always, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Wheel of Misfortune. Sorry if I am talking a bit differently. Give me some uh, get better soon Yoshi, even though it's only a freaking ulcer or whatever it's called on your tongue. But it hurts like a bitch. And uh, in the next episode, as I said, we will be going over there to uh, go and grab ourselves some egg spawners or egg sheep spawners or whatever they're called. And uh, finally get some beds. So as always, guys, thank you for joining me. And I will see you on the next episode. Oh, my God, sapling, what you doing? What you doing over there, sapling? Thank you.